Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just last night, I made a couple of videos on how to do this. Where it looks like the grid is falling away, and I started thinking about what would really be a cool way would be to use the blend tool. So let's take a two-point line. Doesn't matter what length it is. Holding down the control button to make it equal. Let's go ahead and make it a little thicker so you might be able to see it on your monitor better. And then let's make a duplicate of that. Control D and make a duplicate. And then let's nudge it over. Then let's select them both. Go up to effects and blend. And let's blend them 10 times. But before we do that, let's take and rotate them. So this one is going to rotate from the center. So we're going to rotate it 15 degrees. This one, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to rotate it a negative 15 degrees, or you could type in 340, 345. And then when we blend them, it continues that angle. Well, what I kind of like about this, that you can, these two objects are still part of the blend, that you could change it to 20 and make the blend a little different look if you wanted to. So we're going to go 340 this time and see how you've uh, done that. Now to do anything with them later, you need to select them all and go to object and break the blend apart. And then you still need to go to object and ungroup them if you're gonna do too much work with them. Or ungroup them. So now they're individual line. So that's just another way. And then you could take your two point line and do the same thing we did yesterday with accelerate the blend between the two lines to make it look like it. So that's making that grid with the blend tool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.